In the wake of the Costia Concordia disaster, attention has turned to Israeli-American businessman Mickey Arison, the CEO and chairman of Carnival, the company which owns the stricken cruise liner. Arison has seen over $400 million wiped off the value of his own personal fortune as a result of the accident, whilst Carnival shares have fallen sharply, knocking some $5 billion off the company's value. But analysts have suggested that although cruise bookings will drop steeply in the short term, in the longer term, the industry will make a full recovery. Rescuers have continued to search for survivors of the crash, but fears are growing that the 26 people still missing may not be found. The seven Israelis who were on board have all made it safely ashore. British newlyweds and survivors Janice and Ian Donov have praised the efforts of Italian authorities. Due regard very, very well organized by the Italian authorities. Yes. From the Coast Guard yes. um, going to the ferry, then on to the mainland. Um, and actually physically getting people off the ropes because I suddenly felt hands on my, uh, on my ankles. And I thought it was Ian actually because he was below me. And it was the Coast Guards and they would, for the bottom rungs, guide your feet one rung to the next. And then they Pull pulled, in, let running. go, pulled, and they pulled you. Right in. Onto what is there, motorised incredible. rubber, safe. Right. And for, for even, even older people, they it were brilliant. Brilliant. The ship's captain has been detained on suspicion of manslaughter, and a judge is due to decide later this week whether the 52-year-old should continue to be held. Prosecutors have accused the captain of abandoning the ship when many passengers were still waiting to be evacuated.